Today we're going to take a look at the Apple book, the making of the Apple book. Um, I ordered this through Apple um, using iPhoto. You can actually order through the application and I'm going to show you how I did that after we take a look at the book here. Um, I'm excited to see how the book came out so that's why I'm going to um, unwrap it here first and see how it actually came out and then I'll actually get into how um, I made it. Wow, look at there. The four of us, the Brown family. All right, so basically, this book is just a picture of you know, you know, some memories that I have, you know, of pictures that I took with the family, and I did use a DSLR camera, so that's why, I, as you can see, the quality of the pictures came out amazing, and um, they're printed on the book pretty nicely. Um, this book is the extra large; they do have a large size, uh, but this is the extra large book, and as you can see, um, those are pictures of my two boys there and my wife. Um, this came out great actually so um, I'm gonna actually get into how I made the book um, using iPhoto and how you can do the same the book is a hardback book that comes with a book cover and it prints um the front of the page as you know you choose it comes with a it prints that on the book cover and it prints it on the actual book you have an Apple logo logo there on that page which you can opt out but I kept the Apple logo on the back because I think it's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, hardcover book, you know, covered by um, a book protector there. And then on the back of the book, as you can see, the Brown family, they printed the picture on the back as well. So you have the book cover that's pretty much the same as the front and the back of the book. And as you can see, it says the four of us on the side. So let's see how I made the book. All right, so let's take a look at how I actually made the Apple book. Um, first, of all I got to do is open up iPhoto here. Now, iPhoto is a pre-installed app that comes on your, you know, your Apple computer, MacBook Pro, you know, um, iMac, or if you have a um, Mac Mini or any 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 Mac computer, um, it comes pre-installed um, iPhoto. Now, I'm not sure if iPhoto comes on Windows. If it does, I'm not sure if you can actually buy a book through using the application um, but iPhoto is a, um, a application that comes already pre-installed on your MacBook computer so um, here I'm on a MacBook Pro and as you can see I'm in my iPhoto here um, it's two ways to do this as you can see I have projects here projects and then I have Brown Family Book which is the book that I that I made um, and then I'm gonna click in here so you can kinda see this is already done this is already the book that's done so these are these are my pictures um, and then to add a photo, as you can see, um, I can just click on a section that I want to put a photo in. And then you would click on photos, and then from here you would choose the photo, choose a photo that you want to insert. And then you would kind of just click and drag and drop it into the area that you want. Now keep in mind um, that the book is going to come printed as it's as as it as you see it just like how you see it so for example if I zoom in on 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 the picture here alright if I zoom in and I have it too zoomed in you know it's gonna print like that so keep in mind you wanna kinda have you wanna use the slider here to kinda you know adjust the pictures the way you will the way you would like them to look on the book alright and then once you get once you um, fill in all the pages which this has 20 pages once you fill in all the pages you can click buy book and I'm going to show you what happens here okay so give it just a moment when you click buy book as you can see I have the extra large hardcover book I can click check out and then you will check out as normal you would put in your credit card information and, and check out as normal but I'm going to cancel this here and kind of give you an idea of what of how I started the whole book um, that's just that's just a buying process so once you get once you complete the book then it's pretty it's pretty easy to just um, you know click the buy book button once you have the project complete and, and do a normal checkout through the iPhoto application so right here um, as you can see I can kind of just right click and as you can see this pop up I can um, do new book or start a new album but an easy way to see this is um, is I'm gonna just click on 
you know my last imported here okay so when you open our photo you know you come up to this screen you be in photos or whatever and then you have these options down here at the bottom so if you click on share you can see with our photo you can do more than just um, create a book you can do cards you can make a calendar with photos or you can just order just regular prints four by six prints and they have different size prints you know if you don't have a printer at home you can just you know select all the photos you want order prints and then you can have the printed photos shipped to your house um, I as you can see I, I, I did the um, I showed you how the book came out at the beginning of the um, um, of the video because you know some people just want to know how the book came out and may know how to use it so you know this this portion of the video I'm gonna show you how I actually you know made the book so here you would click on book all right very simple very easy to use and then you can kinda of play with the different options of books here and you can choose whatever book you want um, you can choose whatever whatever you want here and then as you can see um, the the family album you can get a size 11 by 8 inches for you know $29.99 and then for each extra page it comes with 20 pages for each extra page is 99 cents so um, once you get the book that you want you can go soft the soft book um, you can do a wired and then you know you can do a family album here's a whole bunch of things you can do you can do journal photo essay you know snapshots you can got you got a whole album of things you can do to create a book so you can you know kind of create the book based on what you want and here you can select large or extra large um, the book that you saw at the beginning of the video is an extra large book um, so um, and then you can change the different covers here and kind of set it up, you know, be creative, personalize it the way you want. Um, and then once you once you get the front or the hardcover book or the the, the type of project you want to do, um, you would just click create. And then at that point, you know, it gives you the full layout of the book. Now here you click on photos. Now, in order to get the photos in this, in order to put the photos in the book, you have to have them in the project. So what you would do at that point, you would go to your pictures, whether you have album saves or you can go into your photos there, right? So I'm going to just click on Caden, which is my little, my youngest son, right? I would actually take a picture of him and I would take this and I would drag it into the book into your project so we're gonna put this in the in the last book right and then once you do that as you can see you can click on the book here and there's your there's your layout if you click on photos as you can see the photo is there now so now what I want to do is I can select the page that I want to put it on alright so let's say I want to put the the picture there I would then click on click on him drag him and then now he's in that in that spot and that's pretty much it and then you just go page by page and put in all your photos put in every photo that you want to put um, I would say a 20 page book will need about 50 photos so take 50 of the the best photos you have and, and you can create you know a book that way um, also if you don't want to feel like or feel like going through the different pages here um, you can take the pictures here and then um, fill up the photo sheet here you'll put all your photos that you want you will go to your photos um, so I'm just go to last import it here or you can go to your photos and then drag all the photos that you want and put it in the book and then at that point it will show up here right as you can see these have check marks by these photos because they are already in the book but for all the ones that don't have check marks that you add you can click auto flow you can click on auto flow and that will fill up the book for you you don't have to go page by page and try to select it but me I like to be you know I like to kinda of be you know place the photos where I want them to go and that sort of things put them in certain order and ranges um, so you can kinda of go through personally and do them each page by page or you can click autofill and fill up the have the um, have the application fill up the book for you and then once you're done you click buy book and then as you can see it'll warn you if you don't have the book filled but um, as you can see I have this book already filled which is the book that I completed and then if I click buy a book once again 
as you can see I'm ready to check out so I hope this video was helpful as far as how you can actually create your own Apple book um, if you have any questions you know leave them in the comment box below and I'll be sure to answer any questions if you have any questions about the book but overall I think the Apple book is a great great way to you know create memories and moments for your family um, you know they make great gifts and everything like that so you know until next time see you in the next video